Hi guys, I have a review for you today of White is for White is for Magic by Lori Ferristolas and this is the thir the second book in her Blue is for Nightmares series. It has 301 pages and it was published May of 2004. I purchased it from Barnes and Noble for um, $9.95 and I absolutely love this series. It is, uh, she's done a fantastic job of drawing the reader in um, with the cover alone. I don't know about you, but um, if you've read this series, the cover for me has a lot to do with with me uh, continuing to read it because all of her all of her um, titles hold second meanings. Not um, what you would think white would stand for, but you know. Um, this book picks up with uh, Am um, Stacy, Drea, and Amber, and it's their. Must be their I think it's their senior year, and they're all roommate, um, rooming together at their prep school, and Stacy's night near, so it's a year after Drea's incident with her, with uh, Stacy and her nightmares, and Stacy's nightmares pick up again. Not only is she having nightmares, but she is being haunted by the dead. Um, those who passed the year before and also her friend. Um, uh, the little girl who passed six years ago that she used to babysit for, I think. Um, this book is medium paced. Um, you are introduced to a mysterious boy who decides to transfer cross country to uh, Stacy's school um, for some unknown reason to Stacy. But, um, if you read the book, it'll tell you, um, I'm not going to tell you because it'll spoil it for those that are reading the seri the book now and for those that are planning to read the series. Um, but, yeah, so, um, again... We have Stacy having the nightmares and um, figuring out who she has to save, um, but is it one of her friends or is it the new kid or is it herself? Hmm. Um, The pros about this book was how the new male character was introduced um, and why he's there. Um, unfortunately, I think, well, um, Drea has grown a bit from the last book. She's still the, um, um, what's the word? Yeah, she still has a lot of growing to do, I guess. Um, she's still kind of not wanting to deal with what is 
now happening to Stacy and what is her magic um, but can you really blame her because of what happened to her in uh, the first book um, she's still little miss perfect and you know all that um, Amber is still Amber the funny sometimes obnoxious but she makes you laugh <laughs> um, I did find myself laughing out loud in, in this book a few times um, also she uh, keeps you guessing um, a lot so yeah I gave it a 4 out of 5 um, if you have not read this series read it um, you can get it it is pretty pricey there the books are $9.95 a piece, I believe, unless you can get them online for cheaper, offline for cheaper. But in the bookstores, I believe I paid uh, $9.95 for each of them. So, but if you haven't read it, read it, um, I do recommend it. It is a very good series. Um, yeah, so... That was why for magic. Again, I gave it a four out of five, and I, um, I'm always gonna say this when I review these books. I love the covers. Um, they just have this way of of drawing you in, and they they are very simplistic, um, and wanting you to know what happens. That was again why is for magic by Lori Ferris Dallas, the second book in her blues for Nightmare series. Um, again, I give it a 4 out of 5.